if you are planning on building an AM5 system, you might want to hold up and hear this first. So we need to be talking about something which has been hitting these chips quite hard and specifically this seems to be affecting the X3D chips most. There's been some Reddit posts, particularly around these X3D chips burning up. There hasn't been any response until now from AMD and ASRock, which most of these motherboards were affected by the seams of it. So according to a survey on Reddit, there's been over a hundred of these X3D chips burning up. And one of the most common motherboards that this is happening with seems to be the ASRock motherboard. It's not to say that these boards specifically are faulty. This does happen across the board with a bunch of other boards. These are just being reported on Reddit. There's obviously a bunch of these which aren't even being reported and it all relates to somewhat the same area being affected. Now, AMD have officially responded to this and let's cover what the findings are. This ties to what they say seems to be memory compatibility. This has now been patched out with the BIOS update. So obviously there's certain memories which weren't really compatible with these newer chips, which were causing these issues. So if you're planning on building an AM5 platform system, I would suggest that you first update your BIOS. A lot of these motherboards do support a quick flash BIOS update, which doesn't require the CPU or RAM to be inserted to update the motherboard. Hey, if you do struggle, there's a bunch of videos out there showing how to do this. This obviously doesn't affect all builds. Unfortunately, AMD has not confirmed which memory brands slash types were causing these issues. Would be great to know. But hey, like I suggested, update your BIOS before doing anything on the system. I've personally seen that a lot of us do neglect updating our BIOS. Why fix what's not broken? but clearly this has to be a new standard of adoption for us all. Things need to change and we need to start updating BIOSes before you actually start working on the system more intensively. So my question is, have you updated your BIOS? 